Welcome. This video is the third of three chapters on draft bylaw amendments related to council nominations. This chapter outlines the draft bylaw amendments that are required to enable the implementation of recommendation number three from the Special Committee of Council on Nominations. Update the nominating committee composition, authority, and process. First, we will look at draft amendments relating to the nominating committee composition and selection. The purpose of the nominating committee is to provide a list of qualified candidates for election. The goal is to build a nominating committee that has the necessary skills to assess whether nominees have the required competencies to stand for election to council. However, there is no formal process or formal criteria to build the nominating committee roster. Currently, the previous and incoming chairs of the nominating committee work together with the support of a PEGA staff to build a draft roster for the upcoming council cycle. This can include the retention of nominating committee members who agree to serve another term and reaching out to a PEGA's branch executives, personal networks, and the two major universities to recruit new committee members. The draft bylaw changes are intended to ensure that the composition of the nominating committee and the selection and appointment of the nominating committee members is conducted using clear and consistent criteria and processes to ensure increased transparency and accountability in the selection of nominating committee members. We will now review the draft bylaw amendments pertaining to the nominating committee composition and selection. Bylaw 2 wording currently states, A nominating committee shall be appointed at the annual meeting to serve for the ensuing year. The committee shall consist of a minimum of 11 professional members of the association, one of whom shall be the past president or the designate of the past president, who shall be the chair, and at least two of whom shall be current members of council. Council shall fill any vacancies which may occur in the nominating committee. The draft new wording for Section 2, Subsection 1 of the bylaw reads, Council shall, on an annual basis, appoint a nominating committee and shall appoint one member of the nominating committee to act as chair. The criteria and process for the composition, selection of nominating committee members, and quorum of the nominating committee shall be determined by council and shall be made available to members. In alignment with this change, the nominating committee would be established by council and would require an amendment to Bylaw 17. Under the list of terms for the agenda of the annual meeting, subsection 1L, appointment of the nominating committee, will be deleted. Now we will look at draft additions to the bylaws to address the authority of the nominating committee. The nominating committee's mandate is to provide a list of qualified candidates for election following an open and transparent assessment process. The current bylaw does not address the nominating committee's authority beyond its responsibility to submit to council a list of nominees. The draft bylaw amendments are intended to ensure that the nominating committee has the ability and authority to deliver on its mandate. We will now review the draft bylaw wording amendments pertaining to the authority of the nominating committee. The draft additions are as follows. Bylaw 2, subsection 2 will read, The nominating committee has the authority and is responsible for a. Developing its own policies and procedures b. Providing information to the membership about nomination and candidate selection policies and procedures. c. Receiving nominations for election to council in accordance with Bylaw 3. d. Determining the eligibility of nominees and candidates in accordance with Bylaws 3, subsections 3, 4, and 8. e. Consulting with council and others deemed appropriate with respect to the competencies required on council for the following election year and the factors identified in Bylaw 3, subsection 5. f. Assessing the competencies of nominees and selecting candidates to stand for election to council in accordance with Bylaws 3, subsection 5 and 3, subsection 6. And g. 
any other matter the nominating committee deems necessary relating to the nomination and selection of candidates for counsel. Bylaw 2, Additional Subsection 3 reads, The nominating committee shall act in accordance with the principles of fairness, transparency, accountability, and independence. The final recommended amendment is to Bylaw 11, Failure to Comply. Currently, the bylaw states, in the event of any failure to comply with procedures relating to the election of members of council, councils shall have the power to take any action it deems necessary to validate the nomination, the counting of ballots, or the election. The new draft wording is, in the event of any failure to comply with policies or procedures relating to the nomination or selection of candidates for election to council, the nominating committee shall have the power at any time prior to the opening of the polls to take any action it deems necessary to validate the selection of candidates. In the event of any failure to comply with policies or procedures relating to any matter concerning the election of members of council, council shall have the power to take any action it deems necessary to validate the election. Once you have reviewed all three chapters of the video presentation on the draft amendments to APEGA's bylaws, please complete the survey available at apega.ca forward slash nominations draft bylaws to share your understanding of what was presented. The survey will be open until September 10th.